Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Christina. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm going to take a first look at Zaya, the active wear MLM. Well, for me, it's the first look. I don't think I've ever displayed them on my channel and this is a first time. This is going to be a quick opportunity call, so I think it is perfect to venture into a new MLM. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. If you like this specific video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to comment something, please feel free to do so in the comment section down below. But let's get started with this short but sweet Zaya Activewear opportunity call. Hello, and thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about Zaya Active. We are Zaya Revolution. We are some of the leaders part of this organization, and we're just going to take the next few minutes to share a little bit about the business and how you can get involved with our organization. So I'm going to kick it off. My name is Kelly Olin. I'm from Southwest Florida, um, and I've been in the industry for about 15 years, three years with Zaya, but my background is in human resources. And having experience with other companies, what I love about Zaya is the product line. The product line is so fun. It is clothes, it is on trend, it is sexy, it is so cute to wear and share and so easy to strike up conversations because you can literally wear the clothes every single day. Whether you're at the gym or you're going to the workplace or you're just running errands, you can wear the clothing line. And also your kids and your spouse can also wear the clothing line as well. So it's really something the whole family can get involved with. Um, lastly, what I love about the line is that we are releasing new pieces every single week. So there's always something new and fun to share with your community, always something that you can be reaching out and selling. So it makes it really easy to build a business when you have something new to be sharing all the time. Next up, we have new launches every week. That sounds very, very overwhelming. Zaya Revolution, that is the name of the team that these people are on. And this seems to be rather curated, this video. There was also music at the beginning. I cannot play it, but I like it. Short and sweet and precise. Yes. <laughs> the clothing, she said, are so fun and they're so consumable. I took a look at the website. I'm going to insert some pictures here as well. Honestly, this looks just like your regular workout gear, but rather overpriced. We have a tight bra, light, tight, light leggings, whatever. We have leggings. <laughs> we have a bra more leggings, different colors, different styles, but this this looks rather basic to me. I don't necessarily know if I would see somebody wearing these clothes that I think, oh, this is so cute, this is so cool. I want to ask you what kind of clothes you wear. It just looks like your regular active wear. And are they that consumable? If they're that pricey, $45 for a boy's t-shirt, no way. 47 for a top, 35 for a regular tank, 70 bucks, 60 bucks. That's the least pricey leggings I have found so far. That is not really consumable in my opinion. And why would you want to wear that type of cloth every single day? I get it. Comfort is king. Same. Uh, ever since the pandemic, I'm like, I'm not wearing jeans anymore, but I did get jeans because at some point I want to leave my house. I want to look a little bit differently. So that doesn't mean that I will hang out in workout gear all the time. They don't look that fun to me and they look like your typical MLM product, rather overpriced. Sports gear, sportswear, whether it is bras or leggings or regular tees, you can get them for a lot less in actual actual retail stores where you don't have an MLM business attached to that. So are they that fun and are they that awesome? I don't necessarily think so. I've never worn these, so of course I can only speak from my perspective of somebody looking at the website, but no, I don't necessarily think they're that great. Hi everyone, my name is Leslie Willard and I'm from Ontario, Canada. And I have to tell you, prior to joining with Zaya, I had not been involved in social selling at all. and. I'll be honest, I hadn't even had a party, but it's really cool because Zaya has so many ways that we can share our products through um, in-home events, online events, and sharing our products in other varieties of ways through social media avenues. Uh, but I want you to feel confident and supported in knowing that along with those ways to share, we have amazing systems as a Zaya Revolution team. We have the opportunity to provide you with uh, trainings through our Zaya Business School. And I'm an educator and a busy mom. And for me, 
things that, that cut down the time into working my business in the small p- pockets of time that I have every day. Sometimes it's only 15 minutes here and 15 minutes there. It's really, truly an important um, thing that we offer at Messiah Revolution to our teammates and to ourselves to be able to have systems in place that make this easy and fun for you to be able to make money each and every week and in, and start off building a team straight away if that's something that's interesting to you because you don't have to be the expert. We have a whole team and a whole network of um, systems that you can tap into to help you support, get your business off the ground straight away. Check, check, check. Looks like we're checking off all the boxes. Products are so fun and so consumable. This lady is speaking about the systems that are in place. Most MLMs, most teams will claim that they have a system. It just means that they're going to train you so that you understand how to recruit and how to sell. And since it's a multi-level marketing company, it doesn't mean that you will be successful because the majority of people in multi-level marketing companies are there to lose money. They're there to spend money that the very few people at the top of the compensation plan are able to make money with no fault of your own. You can work 24 seven and still not see any return on your investment, no matter what alleged systems are in place. Maybe it's a video to watch. Maybe it's a walk through the back end. Maybe it is inspirational talks. No system can guarantee your success in an MLM because mathematically and statistically speaking, most people have to fail for very few people to succeed. She also says you don't have to be an expert. That is another check. So anybody and everybody can join because they have not only the system in place, but also the team and the expert that will be able to guide you through. That is something every MLM rep, every team, and every MLM will tell you. But I'm still waiting for proof. We're going to pass it on to uh, Stacy to share with us some of the other great features about our community. Yes. Hi, guys. My name is Stacy. I am in Highland, Michigan, a real small town. Um, but I want to talk to you guys about community. So our Zaya itself has four pillars and my absolute favorite is community and something that's really special about us is um, we have our team is called Zaya Revolution and we have an amazing community it's unmatched Um, you will be accepted right away there are tons of different teams within Zaya but in Zaya Revolution we uplift each other we have we all collaborate over compete. We have um, sideline sisters. Some of my sideline sisters that I've met virtually or in events are have become some of my best friends. I look forward to seeing on our trips or our summits. Um, but not only during you know virtual or um, during travel, we get to connect with people all over the United States, all over Canada, Australia, and new markets in the coming year. So. Being a part of this community is just completely my absolute favorite part about the business. Um, of course, aside from the clothes, because those those just sell itself. But um, and we can also connect every single week. We do a team call, so you get to get on. You get to be a part of the community that way. Um, so I hope that we get to see you on one of those calls soon. Kim's going to talk to you guys about our compensation plan. And that is another check when it comes to the community, because what would an MLM pitch be without the uplifting community that will love bomb you once you join? This is something that we hear from all reps and all teams and all MLMs that they and their team, of course, they have the best community. Of course, people will love you because you make the money if you join a team. People will support you, will tell you how awesome you are, potentially for the most basic things, in the effort for you to stay in the company, in the team longer, so that you can make the money, so that you can recruit people and you can purchase and you can sell products. But I would argue, when is that uplifting and awesome community going to fade away? What if you're not performing the way you are supposed to be? What if you're not a runner? What if your upline doesn't necessarily think you yourself are a leader, because you're not able to recruit a lot of people and because you're not contributing a lot to the group volume or to the team volume because you're not able to sell the products because mm -mm, Zaya products don't sell themselves. No MLM products have ever sold themselves. You have to pitch them to people, you have to overcome objections 
And then maybe you're lucky to make a sale here or there, specifically with family and friends. But when you have gone through your warm market or your hot market, so the people you know, you will have to go to other people outside of your known community, and then it will get even more hard. Where's that community then? Might be that you are lucky and you are in a community of genuine people, but from what I've seen, what I've heard, there's lots of videos on social media and lots of posts where former representatives have left a company and said, after I left, I was ghosted. People were not that interested in me anymore and the uplifting community just faded away. Hey everybody, I'm Kim Casey. I live in Omaha, Nebraska. What seems like lifetimes ago, I was in education, um, followed by I think I'm starting my 11th year in direct sales. Um, prior to Zaya, I was with a different company where I actually had the pleasure of working with Kelly. Um, and when we found Zaya, when this opportunity presented itself, the compensation plan is the number one thing that got my attention. So if you're listening to this video and you're like, okay, I need to know, can I actually make money doing this? Is this a real way to earn an income? I am here to tell you, yes, absolutely, 100%. We are paid three different ways on our personal volume up to 33% on our team volume up to 10 levels deep, which if you're familiar with the industry, it's very impressive. Of course, you can see the full breakdown of this compensation plan um, through our other resources. I'm not going to bore you with that, but I'm going to tell you that the numbers are astonishing and the potential is mind blowing. Um, and the third way is through travel. Those trips that Stacy just mentioned, we earn all kinds of fun incentives um, and a lot of which are traveling to other countries and having some really amazing experiences. So Jose, do you wanna bring us home? No, Jose, you have to wait a second because I'm not done here. So the compensation plan is unmatched. It is awesome. If I can find it, I will also link it down below. What she has said is here, you can make money. I mean, I'm surprised she just said three different ways because typically MLM reps will tell you, you can make money 300 ways, but you can make money two ways. Number one, if you are able to sell a product, you will get a small commission off of the sales you've made. And the others are recruitment based. So you build a team and then you're able to profit off of the sales and the purchases your team does as well. And the more people you have on your team, the more you're able to benefit off of the work of the people on your team. And it seems like it is the same here. I couldn't find an income disclosure statement from Zaya, but they have what is considered the rewards for the Zaya representatives and the qualifications. So what do you have to do if you want to hit a certain rank? And what do you get in return if you are able to fulfill this? And yeah, you're able to make a small commission of the things that you sell, and then you're able to profit 10 levels deep into whatever the people on your team do. But of course, that only works if you're higher up in the company, if you have a bigger team, and then you can also get rank bonuses if you are able to hit a certain rank. What I found rather interesting is that she's also mentioning the incentive trips and the little perks you can get here or there. They will for sure, if you're able to make some money in Zaya, show up on your tax report because you have to pay taxes on these, but you will have to work towards participating in leadership retreats and trips whatsoever. You will have to hit certain requirements to be quote unquote rewarded with these. I would argue if a company is really that interested in you and wants to reward you for your work, they should just pay you the money and not send you on a trip that might not be fully covered that you probably have to work hard for so that you're even able to hit it. And in the end, you still have to pay taxes on the value of the trip. Hey, my name is Jose Nadeau. I am from Canada, a little town in Ontario, Canada, and a little bit about me. I'm a registered nurse, I'm a military wife, and at the time of joining Zaya, I had two little kids under two. I've been with this company now for three years, and like maybe you on the other side of that camera, I was a skeptic. I said, oh my gosh, this might be too good to be true. I'm going to tell you a little something. I signed up for this with low expectations because I had no idea what was possible. My expectations, my, my hope if I made it big with this was that I would make an extra three to $500 a month as fun money. As I got to know this company a little bit better, as Kim has uh, discussed, the compensation plan is incredible. And you really, the sky is the limit and you can do so much with this. When I first signed up, 
the company was very new in the international market. It was well established in the US, starting to be well established in the US and just launched in Canada. Since then it has exploded and now we are moving to other international markets and it is doing very well in those launches as well. So if you are looking at this and this is any of this is resonating with you, if you relate to any of our stories, maybe you just love activewear, maybe you're like me and you've got two little kids and you're on your postpartum fitness journey and you maybe are just yearning for a little bit more community, a little bit more support with girlfriends, um, you know, you've got to take a look at this. You have to take a closer look. The number one thing that I hear from people who join our team is that I wish I would have joined sooner. We hear that all the time and it's never too late to join because the timing's got to be, you know, right for your heart. But I'll tell you, if it's fear that's holding you back, we've got systems We've got an incredible product. We have an amazing comp plan. We have a supportive community and we have ways for you to fit this in your day. So reach out to whoever it is who sent you this video, have a conversation and you know, there's no obligations. You don't have to do anything that you don't wanna do. You can really make this business your own and we are here to support you with that. Your next step, message the person who sent you this video and let them know you are ready. Nah, I'm not ready. Can you still see me? It's getting really, really dark in here. Does the shadow of Zaya opportunity lingering over my apartment? But I will share the light anyways. <laughs> Little insider joke, because also anti-MLM can share light. Yes, getting a little bit sidetracked here. This was another checkbox. If you are a busy mom, you can do this because you can fit this into the pockets of time. And then there was an additional checkbox that I personally love a lot. I was so skeptic about this business. She didn't say she was a hater. I prefer it when people say I hated this business model so much because I didn't understand it. In reality, you would not join an MLM if you really understood the business model. I would argue if you join an MLM, you're either not knowledgeable about the damage this business can do to most people or you ignore it willfully. This is something that has to be included in a good MLM pitch, I believe. If you were a skeptic, don't worry, so was I. I was not sure, is this a scam? Am I able to make money? I can make money here. The compensation plan is unmatched. But that is not why it is a scam. That's not why it's a bad business model for the majority of people because most people who join an MLM will be enticed to purchase a lot of products. Whether the compensation plan requires you to, there are certain MLMs, it doesn't look like it's the case here, like the oily MLMs, if you're able to hit one of the higher ranks, you have to purchase product every single month to be considered active. In addition to that, you also have certain requirements to hit a rank or to keep a rank. And Although it is not forced on you, and although it is also not recommended by the corporate side from the MLM, it happens a lot of times that people will rather buy a product to keep a rank or to hit a rank. And in addition to that, many times the uplines are encouraging that as well. So many reps have said, yeah, I joined the company and the first thing that I did was sign up for auto shipment so that you get your products on time every single month. And then also set up a second account like a ghost account if you ever need to purchase something. We'll explain later. So that is the facade that a lot of people will put up. I was not convinced by this business model, but now I see and I understand it. You can make a little bit of money if you're able to sell the products, yes, but the commission is rather small, probably compared to the amount of work that you have to put in. And in addition to that, you will also have to spend a lot of money, whether it is required by the compensation plan, whether it is advised on by your upline or because you have to be a quote unquote product of the product. You have to showcase the clothing, right? to wear them outside and people will ask you what you're wearing and then you can monetize that, which is highly unlikely that that will happen. I appreciated that it was a short and sweet pitch and it wasn't a lot of fluff and a lot of blah blah, but it was still your typical MLM pitch. So what is my conclusion? Don't join an MLM, don't join Zaya because one MLM is just like the other. No difference there. 
I will keep my eye out for Zaya. More content probably to come than in a longer video as well, but I think that was okay as a starting point for myself. If you like these types of videos, please consider subscribing. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to leave a comment, please feel free to do so down below. And I'm going to say tschüss until the next video. And I'm going to film again tomorrow when there is more sun because now it's getting really, really dark in here while it's bright and sunny outside. That is ridiculous. It really is, but I'm going for a walk now. I hope you have a lovely day as well. See you soon. Tschüss.